Let me show you how to export your design in Corel Draw. This is a beginner's friendly tutorial. So if you're in a haste, please go to where you're going and come back and watch this video. But if you're not in a hurry, you're welcome. Anyways, for those of you who are always finding it difficult to you know export your design, when you export, you'll see it will look blurry or you encounter some well forget this big English I'm talking. Jump into your corner draw if you have no open. Anyway, welcome to corner draw, guys. So, <laughs> allegedly, this is not my design, right? I got it from Pinterest. I just want to teach you guys because I'm a teacher. We are learning. All right. So, if you want to export your design in corner draw, what you're going to do is follow my step, right? And make sure you watch to the very end. Come over to file. If you're a beginner listing, if you don't understand anything I'm teaching here, go and watch my beginner's class. It's the first video you'll see on my channel. For those of you who say I talk too much, oh, I'm not begging you. You're here to learn. We are all here to learn. So if you think I'm, I'm wasting your time. <laughs> okay, come to file after doing your design. You will see exports. Exports. The shortcut is control plus e when i mean control plus e i mean there's a key in your keyboard right the keyboard you used to type there's a ctl ctr sorry then on the mac we have command so that is the terms i'm using in case you don't understand <laughs> that means you're not subscribed to my channel for those of you who are subscribed you're welcome so click on exports and gradually follow my settings right i'm going to create a folder so that i'm going to place it there i'll create it as export because i don't want you guys to be seeing what is on my desktop because of you guys whoa now this dialog box will open no fear no fear when you see export dialog box no fear right you will see file name under the file name what is this telling you it's telling you or asking you what do you want to save me as in a layman term the name you want to save the file with you get the points now now you can basically say save as type flyer now this thing you save this thing you type here when you're done exporting this is the name you're going to see under the flyer you understand those of you don't know anything in coil draw i beg don't come ask me plenty questions so go and watch my beginners class all right you see save as type you get confused don't get confused click on the box right then what you're going to do is select jpeg you can export as jpeg or png am i communicating now if you did not see jpeg just click on letter j on your keyboard right if you click on letter j you will see jpeg slash it's not slash it's dash right or is it hyphen jpeg bitmap select that one there are different options but select this one i'm i'm telling stop looking at me look at your screen i'm talking to you look at your screen now you see selected only selected only simply means that flyer alone you want to export sometimes we graphic designers we can be too rough we'll drop design here drop design here drop design here drop design here I know what I'm saying for we we designers. If you want to export only that one, click on selected only. I'm not begging you, Sha. Now, after you're done, click on export. But before then, you will see organize, right? On this organize in your left, on your left hand side, you will see different options, right? Now, this is telling you where do you want to save me to do you understand 
now select where you want to save it as now i'm going to go to my desktop and save this then remember i created a folder so i'm going to look for that folder i'll say i'll go to export now click export down below here when you click it a box will come up again no fear do you understand no fear for those of you who are watching me outside the country i mean don't be scared now you will see a setting in your right hand side you will see color mode select r g b r g b when you click on it right you will see matte just leave it the way it is no change anything no go to do your gra gra go to change anything no be my papa build this app now you will see quality right under your quality select highest so it gives you a good you know quality and resolution now you will see standard already is on four to two that is the ratio right okay you will see um units inches already it, it generates the you know everything that you've the settings you've had on the design it brings it here right like the sizes ratio you understand now you see resolution this is where you will get it all wrong resolution right under the resolution you can choose to leave it at 300 depending on the weight of your design how big it is right now sometimes i prefer using if i'm using pixels i export on but every social media handle has their own like guideline in terms of mb megabyte or gigabyte you understand the amount of mb you are to export your file with do you understand in case you're posting it instagram all those they have their own guidelines so now you can either increase or decrease but i don't expect it to decrease so you increase it right you can use either 800 or 700 now let's assume i put it on 700 come on before i put 700 you can see it is on 998 kilobytes right now when i put it on 700 you see it is now 3.67 mb so if you want to increase it if you choose to you can still increase it do you understand now that is how i do my own settings do you understand you can now click on uh okay right so go to your this thing go to the desktop go to exports now you can see your design you see so if you put it on your phone you will see the difference between what you have before and what i just taught you now this is basically how to export your design in CorelDRAW. so if you are waiting for me to tell you to drop me comments in case you don't understand please drop me comments in case you don't understand right for those of you who are not subscribed you will not understand what i just taught you guys if you're not subscribed you will not understand and anyway shout out to all of you who have always been here see you guys in my next video bye bye I don't go now. You can you can scroll to the next video.